ignore these questionable travel tips on your next trip. Anyone who has ever received misguided travel recommendations knows that many popular but questionable travel truths simply shouldn't be put into practice. While some claims hold merit, seemingly well founded pieces of wisdom passed along from globetrotters, guidebooks, and websites are flimsy assumptions that have been shared and reshared until they're accepted as fact. To sort through common misconceptions, and flat out wrong, travel advice, we caught up with top experts to identify the travel tips that should be dodged and dispelled, along with smarter strategies to put into action. Sites, he says. But staying far removed from top attractions is an easy way to waste time and money and rack up higher commuting costs rather than fully immersing yourself and enjoying in your surroundings, he cautions. Miss Zone, says Gabe Sagley, senior editor at TravelZoo. He also points out that in Mexico, and any international destination, travelers should follow basic, common sense rules to maximize safety, such as staying cognizant of your surroundings, knowing the laws of the country you're visiting, and avoiding exploring unfamiliar places on your own. To maximize your safety, Enroll in the State Department's free Smart Traveler Enrollment Program online by answering a few quick questions about yourself and the country you're planning to visit, and you can subscribe to calendar specific lists to receive the latest travel alerts and advisories. Traveling, Sagley says. I stock photo. Deal, he adds. Plus, in terms of timing. Sagley points out that carriers will offer sales and steep price reductions during slow booking periods, but a better strategy for finding a bargain is looking for domestic flights six to eight weeks ahead of your desired departure date. Typically, flight prices will increase at certain intervals, two weeks, seven days and three days, ahead of your flight, he explains, adding that though last-minute sales are a possibility, strategically timing when you book particularly during peak travel periods, is a smart idea. Greater, he adds. Recommended. Istock photo. Time, he adds. Dramatically, Sagley says. Though he cautions that inclement weather can disrupt a trip to the Caribbean during the off-season and create myriad hassles, from flight disruptions to transportation limitations and closed attractions during off-peak times, the chance to enjoy fewer crowds and lower rates may offer a better value proposition for those on a budget. And if you plan a trip to an exotic destination during the rainy season, savings on the ground can be significant, Sagley says, meaning you can travel to a far-flung locale during an off-peak time and enjoy a five-star experience at a three-star price he says. Stay, Sagley says. In fact, Hilton Worldwide recently ran an ad campaign to encourage travelers to make their stays directly with Hilton Outposts and even ensured consumers that the best rates are available at Hilton.com. Similarly, Marriott launched a campaign to promote direct bookings, touting the lowest prices, reward points and extra perks including free Wi-Fi for guests who are part of the Marriott Rewards program. So, if you're a Travel Rewards member, you may want to reconsider booking indirectly.